This is a story that took place on the island of Okinawa a long time ago, when it was still called Rukyu Island. There aren't very many fish in the net again. I wonder where all the fish went to. I'm so sorry, Carl. That must have been painful for you, too. Are you a mermaid? Yes, now don't move. That's a deep cut. How does it feel now? It doesn't hurt anymore. Wow, thank you. <sighs> thank you for saving me. That was kind. My name is Ray. I'm sorry you were hurt by making me better. Please, don't worry about that. It's my way of thanking you for having the compassion to care about the pain the coral feels. Well, then is there something that I can do to thank you in return for all of your kindness? Thank you, Ray. But there's only one thing that I want. And that is to protect the beautiful coral and fish of the sea. Lately, the coral and fish have been suffering from the silt of the land turning the ocean red. It all makes me feel so sad. I understand. Ray, I'm so happy to know that there are people like you who care about the sea. It gives me hope for the future. Huh? We have the special ability to read people's minds, and I can tell you have a good heart. You can? Yes. You see, the greatest treasure in the whole world is a sincere heart. But it seems like sometimes most people forget that. I promise I'll keep my heart good. Ray, come back here on the first night of the full moon just after the rainy season. All right, there's something I want to show you. Okay, the night of the first full moon. <laughs> Did she leave this here? What a beautiful shell. I shall keep it until I see her again. I can't believe Mia got so sick all of a sudden. Hang on, Mia. I'll bring this healing medicine to make you better. Ray, where are you, Ray? Mother, father, I promise I will save Mia. Here, what's your name? Ray? Ray, where are you from? Do you know where your parents are? <sighs> How would you like to come and live with us then? Baby Mia will have a new brother. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Mother and father who had raised me just like their own son were gone. They were swallowed by a tidal wave while out fishing. I vowed to them that I would take care of their daughter Mia forever. I want you two to come and live with me. Your cousin Ken is waiting for you. Hey, you! How dare you walk in front of a samurai boy? Oh, they must be samurais from Japan. I'm, I'm so sorry. You think you can get away with just an apology? How dare he do that to my cousin? Who do you think you are? Even your own king wouldn't dare to challenge us. You're just a commoner under our rule, you peasant. I'm sorry. I was in a hurry to get to the doctor. Quiet. We don't want to hear your lame excuses. Please forgive him. He didn't mean to. He was only in a hurry. He's my 
my cousin. Would you rather we punished you? Ray. <sighs> Please, my sister is very sick. None of this would have ever happened if we weren't in a hurry to get a doctor for her. Just imagine. If someone in your family was sick, wouldn't you be in a hurry to get them a doctor too? <sighs> You're nothing more than a kid with a wise mouth. Oh! <gasps> But why, Ken? They'll hurt you! I know, but we have to bear it. We have no choice, can't you see? Uh, uh. Ha! What a feisty little kid. We'll let you go this time. <laughs> They're gone now. We can't let them bully people around like that. Thank you for your help, Doctor. You're welcome. Take good care of her now. Yes, sir. No, of course not. You're not going to die. But if I did, then would I be able to see Mommy and Daddy? Hey, you're going to be just fine. Get well so we can play together again. <laughs> you can take my life, but please, save Mia. My hands feel numb. My body feels like it's burning up. Come on, Mia. Hang on. You're gonna make it. Better. I'm so happy. Hey, what happened? Your hair turned into a different color, Ray. <laughs> you kept your promise to see me. Oh, Ray. Ray, you look so much older now, I don't understand it. I, uh... Oh, no, don't tell me. Mm -hmm. I understand. That was very kind of you, to give her part of your life like that. It was easy. I love them. They're my friends and my family, and they're all I've got. It's as if Mia and I were born from the same mother. Did you know that shell originally came from a big star? From a big star? Yeah. Eventually, all stars die out, too. But they live longer than you. Everything in the universe dies eventually. When a big star dies, it ends its life in a giant explosion. And the tiny pieces that come from it form new stars. Everything's made from stardust. You see? So you and me and the coral and the sea were all born from the same big mother star. Yeah, I knew we were all born from the same mother. I like that thought. Mm-hmm. That makes us all brothers and sisters born from the stars. Mm-hmm. Of course, some stars are just small ones. They selfishly stay that way, only thinking of themselves, till one day they shrink away and die. It's the same way with human beings. People who only care about themselves are like small stars. But when a person who is willing to share everything that they've got with someone who they really love, that is a choice to protect those around him with the gift of life, just like the great stars do with us. So the special power inside of this shell is just like the power of the big mother stars, right? Right. But only those with a kind heart can use the shell's magical power. See? Ray, that shell belongs to you now. Watch out! Whoa. What are you doing here, Ray? Why are you cutting down the trees? 
They're making us cut them down so they can add on a new building to the castle. It'll be for the samurai. Uncle, I don't want him to cut down the trees. Huh? The ocean is being polluted. A mermaid told me all about it. What? Yes, she told me last night. She said that if we cut down the trees and leave the ground bare, every time it rains, the red soil will be washed into the river. And then it will flow into the ocean. That's what's causing our coral reefs to die. And that's why the fish can no longer live in the sea. Yes, I understand. There's an old saying, when the trees in the mountains are cut down, the fish in the ocean die. Yeah, that's right. And the coral reefs are barriers that will protect us from big waves that come from deep in the sea. That's why tidal waves never reach our ocean shore. The coral reefs are protecting us. Two years ago, when the tidal wave came, the coral reef was already dying from the red soil and it couldn't protect us. That's how I lost my mom and dad. It's okay. If we cut down the trees, the coral will die and we will all suffer. If we don't cut down the trees, the samurai will take away our fields to punish us for disobeying. Either way, the people will suffer. What should we do? What happened to you two? Ken has a broken leg. We were both hurt. A big pile of lumber fell on us and we got trapped underneath it. It was awful. I'm afraid I won't be able to work in the fields anymore. Oh. Listen to me. Huh? I want you to use my arm and my leg. Then you'll be strong enough to get back to work in the fields. Thank you, Ray. That's very kind. Your thoughts are enough. But I mean it, Uncle. It's my way of thanking you for everything you've done for Mia and me over the years. can move my arm. All the pain is gone. Wow, you made it better, Ray. Oh. I can walk again. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. So many trees. I want you to use your power to cure my daughter's vision. reward for this gift gold maybe silver no sir but thank you there aren't any riches that I wish to receive what <sighs> what I really want is for you to order your people not to chop down any more trees your majesty what I can't do that why not sir I simply cannot the trees are so very precious to our island I don't want any of them to be cut down if it can be avoided is that really true? Of course. I feel so sorry for the people of our kingdom. They are forced to work day and night just to pay land taxes, and sometimes they even have to leave their own farms to labor for the ruling samurai. 
A long time ago, our ancestors tried to create a peaceful island here. They abandoned all of their weapons, a proud decision no other people in the world had the courage to make. However, foreigners with weapons attacked the kingdom of Rukyu. The conquerors didn't understand our desire for peace. Your Majesty, they may have overpowered us with force, but our hearts cannot be defeated. The mermaid that I met who taught me to use this gift said that what matters most is the goodness inside our hearts. If only everyone could see that, then our kingdom would surely thrive and prosper. <sighs> there are some who have forgotten this truth, Your Majesty. And you, <sighs> sir, are one of them! How dare you! Hey, watch your words, boy! <gasps> that birthmark! Then you must be my... That's <sighs> right, Father. It's me. I am your long-lost son. I wanted to see you again. I am Ray. Ray, my son. Of course it's you, my son. How could I ever forget your star-shaped birthmark? I still remember that day when you suddenly disappeared from the castle. I left to experience life outside of the castle. I've met many people, and I've come to understand their hearts, and I want to do something for them in return for all they've done for me. Ray. Listen, if you don't stop the trees from being cut down, then I'll get out there and stop it myself. I'll tell everyone the truth, that you really don't want any of the trees to be cut down. Please, Ray, don't do that. I'm sorry, sir, but I must. I am afraid that I will not be returning to the castle again. Your Majesty, Your Highness, please take care and farewell. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ray. You mustn't walk away from me like that. Stop him! Don't hey, let him leave the castle! Let go of me! Let go of me! What can I do to protect our people? What can I do? Are you all right? Yes. Tidal wave! Uh -huh. I've never seen a tidal wave this big. What can I do to help them? I've got to do something. Watashi wa hoshi itsu mo anata wo mitsumete ru nanatsu no hikari de
The mountains are shedding red tears. The ocean is rising and walking. Where is the star that will protect us all? I can't seem to see where it is. Now I understand. I have to be that star. Ray, you must escape. You cannot stop that tidal wave by yourself. You will lose your life. I'm sorry, Father. I know. I realize I may not be able to do very much on my own. But I want to save this island. I want to be a giant star protecting everyone. And I will become a big star. But I must hurry, or it will be too late. I am willing to sacrifice my life. Please protect this island that I love. Please restore the coral reef under the sea. Please restore the trees on the mountains. And most of all, please protect the precious lives on this island. The tidal wave has subsided. Ray, you saved us by sacrificing your own life. Ray, my son, you are the true prince of my kingdom. I promise to build a nation in your honor where people will live together with good hearts. No matter how difficult things may be, our land will be filled with compassion and our hearts will never waver. Watch over you. Is that you, Ray? What is it, Mia? Ray came back to us, except now he's in little tiny pieces of the big star. Huh? <laughs> Ray, promise that you'll always watch over us, Kay? The famous star-shaped grains of sand found on Okinawa Island today may be the gift that Ray left behind for us to remember him by.